Right, here we have our Mac 800. Um, we've got this straight out of the box. Um, just to give you an idea of what it's all about, it's an 800 watt servo motor. Um, here we have our motor. Um, inside we have our drive, and we also have a controller, and power supply, and, velocity, and um, braking dumping resistors in there as well. And we have a fan on the back for cooling. Um, we have a variety of modules we can fit in here. Um, I've gone for a standard second direction input, but we do have a programmable unit. Um, profit burst device net, Bluetooth and wireless LAN. Uh, I've taken the covers off and fit 240 volts straight in there, straight to the mains. Um, we have a connector on here where we have a setup, um, which is a 232 setup lead. So I've got one end connected there and the other to my PC. And then we have our 24 volts connected in here, uh, nice and simple uh, for our control logic. I'm um, using a separate um, small power supply here for doing some bench work testing. Um, I've loaded Mac Talk, and as you can see here is Mac Talk um, on the software and at the moment um, we're not connected on here at all because we've got no power on there. So what we'll then do now is um, plug in and we now have some power on and as we can see we are now connected. And we can now see a picture of the Mac 800. We can actually see the status of it. Mode we're in. Actually, we're in passive mode there. Uh, we're doing zero RPM. Obviously, we'll just turn power off. And so, what we'll now do is we'll see if we can actually get it moving. Um, so, we're, here we are, like three minutes out of the box. And there we have the Mac 800 moving away. Uh, we've got it set at 100 RPM, as you can see there and our actual velocity, as you can see, is 100 RPM. We also have lots of different modes we can operate it in. As you can see, we can move over each different mode and it gives us a description of what that mode is used for. We have our profile data, our motion parameters, we have our error handling, our inputs and outputs, and brake options if we need to, our zero search options, and our undervoltage handling, and last of all our comms on the motor address.